What's up, YouTube? It's Retro Zandos here with the first part of Pokemon Trading Card Game. Yes, on the Game Boy Color. We're playing it on the Nintendo GameCube using a WaveBird controller. As you see, Pokemon Trading Card Game. The main focus of my channel used to be like a Pokemon Trading Card Game, so why not play this retro game? Uh, because it's so much fun uh, playing a game like this. Uh, we're gonna start a new game, English of course. And I'm gonna put in my name here. Again, we're going for Josh, because, uh, yeah, that's my name. <laughs> there we go. Josh is crazy about Pokemon. I'm Pokemon card collecting. One day, Josh heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card game's greatest players. The Grandmasters are searching for one to inherit the legend. Dreaming of inheriting the le legendary cards, Josh visits the Pokemon card Researcher Dr. Mason. And uh, here we go. Mason's laboratory. Here we enter. Uh, oh! Why the rush, Josh? What? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? So, you too finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with a practice deck. Here, I'll give you this crappy deck so you can uh, actually see me uh, tell me everything about the trading card game, which is really boring in the beginning of the game. Yeah, that's really the uh, important thing here is that uh, we cannot skip this. So stick with me, guys. I'm gonna talk about uh, some random stuff here and there. Hey, Josh, hurry up and come here. So, as you see, this is the trading card game table. If you played at the tournament, when the real TCG world, the competitive scene, you actually know a uh, table set up with, uh, yeah, this is uh, nothing to ask. We know everything about the game. I started it uh, once I was a little child, collecting every card there was, base set, fossil set, jungle set, everything like that. So uh, yeah, he'll be coaching us, Dr. Mason. If you don't, uh, there's uh, some easy stuff here. He's got the uh, introduction booklet while we play, so he's actually gonna lead us. Teach Sam Sam's practice deck. I actually used this background noise in a couple of my videos, so uh, if you remember that, definitely check it out. And if you're hyped for the new Let's Play, definitely smash the hell out of that like button, like you would do, like it's super effective. Okay. And uh, yeah, we get ready for the battle. Choose your Pokemon. We have a Goldeen and a Staryu, and uh, you can uh, for our practice duel, we have to choose Goldeen, even though uh, the uh, Staryu has the attack slap, I believe, which deals 20 damage. So. Uh, next we have to put a bench Pokemon. Ha, it's been a while since I played the trading card game. I got out of the scene, but now uh, I'm playing this retro game and it takes me way back. Wow. Uh, the uh, TGG Online program is actually really great, uh, as you see. Uh, yeah, we don't have any uh, more bench Pokemon. We place our prizes. Only two, which is great. Otherwise this match would go on forever. I'm so glad that I can play it using uh, the Game Boy Player on the GameCube. Record. Otherwise, it would have been really hard to find like a recorder for the Game Boy Color games. <laughs> okay, could also play like uh, on the Super Nintendo by using the Game Boy adapter there. Yeah, we uh, to use an attack, you have to uh, attach an energy card, and uh, after you attach it to a, uh, your active Pokemon, you can attack with it. You can also attach it to uh, a bench star you to set someone up. But yeah, he doesn't explain that. He's uh, just saying that we have to use Horn Attack, otherwise he will say like, Wow, what are you doing? You're better than me. <laughs> okay, Horn Attack. There we go. And uh, I think to notice that uh, we're not playing on uh, the Nintendo 64 uh, like we did with Pokemon Yellow. If you haven't checked that Let's Play, definitely check it out. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that. A really great Let's Play. Uh, but the thing I noticed here is... Uh, wow. Then my chop is way stronger dealing 20 damage. That was really great in the beginning of the game, but as I was mentioning, we cannot skip uh, or actually um, go faster. We have to see everything, so the episodes might be a bit longer, but this is a short, rather short game, so uh, we're not uh, troubled by that. It's not like a real RPG game, like with the, yeah, the main series. So this will be really decent playing at uh, the regular speed. We have to evolve to Seeking, attach a Psychic Energy to evolve Seeking and use Waterfall. So, we're gonna do that because he's uh, saying everything we have to do. And there's actually, there's actually a great option here because we don't have anything else. Oh yeah, we already attached an energy, so uh, you can only attach one energy per turn. You don't want to be that cheating guy. 
I seen like a video where they cheat on the live camera. That was crazy. Yeah, if you guys seen that, let me let me know because uh, yeah, it's quite interesting that people. I don't really like cheaters. I like to have like a really close match and then losing instead of like I face an opponent and then he cheats. That's like wow, terrible. So another low kick from the Machop. And see, uh, Seeking is uh, way stronger. We're gonna destroy the Machop in a bit. So. We drew another water energy. Seeking got enough energy, so you don't have to attach another energy. We're gonna set up our bench Pokemon and give a water energy to our Staryu, is what he's saying, Dr. Mason. I think it's pronounced Mason, could be wrong though. And then we have to choose a uh, horn attack or whatever and uh, finish off our opponent. Now let's play the game. Yeah, how crazy. You're, this is not a game, we're just following a tutorial. So I'm not gonna do the horn attack, I'm gonna do waterfall. Instead, I'm not gonna listen to you. Overkill is the way to go in a trading card game. Yeah. I used to play like uh, in the days with Magnazone Prime, with Lost Burn, dealing overkill damage at the end. How <laughs> I really like that. Wow, it's Renegade! With two energies already. And he uses Bite. I think uh, this is uh, one of the first cards in the base set that knew uh, an attack with a question mark. We didn't know what it was, but it cuts the uh, HP in half, so that's great. When all your Pokemon are knocked out, there are no Pokemon on the bench, you lose the game automatically. So we best uh, put that Drowsy on the bench, like that. And uh, we also attach a Water Energy card to uh, our bench Drowsy to set it up and uh, choose uh, Waterfall. Okay, thanks for explaining all that. I didn't know what would I do without you, Dr. Mason. Well, I'd do way better. Definitely this test deck is not my way to go. Uh, after this we have the option to choose a deck of our choice. We can choose the Squirtle deck, the Bulbasaur deck, or the Charmander deck. Charmander is a really great deck, uh, quite aggressive, and now we're seeking guys quite aggressive with the Ember dealing 30 damage and stuff. Then the uh, Bulbasaur deck is uh, a bit more um, with special conditions, using poison and uh, sleep power and great stuff like that. But I think uh, and then there's Squirtle, uh, a mix of both, but Blastus is quite good because it can uh, attach multiple energies at a time. And we're going for Staryu! We also have Potion! Staryu evolved into Starmie! Let's get Staryu ready to do Starmie's attack! To evolve it, we attach another Water Energy, and uh, then we're almost ready! And then we use Slap! We give a Water Energy, because we know we're gonna draw Starmie for some reason. It's all destiny like that. And now, we are slapping the hell out of that Radigan! You die! Not really, because uh, he's still alive, he's hanging on with 1 HP or 10 HP in the game. <laughs> then there's the Machop. Alright. He's retreating! The coward! Low kick! 20 damage. Lucky for us, we have that potion. So uh, I really like the sprite of our main character, our uh, protagonist. Uh, pretty great with the uh, bandana and stuff. We use potion, of course. Also, we attach the water energy to star you because we know we're gonna get uh, <laughs> our star me later on. We're cheaters like that. Yeah. Yay! We're healing. And then a water energy. Why do you do that? You can also attach it to the drowsy, but whatever. We don't have any hypno in our deck, so. Eh. Okay! Up next, he's drawing from the deck. Sam is thinking and attaches an energy. Low kick, really. The only things we need to win the game is a plus power or a star me. Oh, how cool! Eh? What a coincidence! We have finally drawn the star me! It was destiny, it was heart of the cards. Couldn't be anything else. We're gonna use the last attack, Star Freeze, and we're gonna finish it. Star Freeze! We can also overkill and give another energy. Why not to Drowsy? And there we go! Maybe you should have uh, given it to uh, Star Me because uh, there's also energy removal in this game, quite powerful. Indeed! And he's paralyzed! How great! Ha ha ha! Another fighting energy, and he can't attack because he was paralyzed. And we draw a card. Water energy. Now that matchup only has 10 HP left, we can destroy him. You've knocked out your opponent! Take the last prize, and that was the tutorial. Okay. 
source of all, another water energy to drowsy because why not? And we destroy it with Star Freeze. And is it paralyzed? Yes! We are great. Why is it? I'm so excited for uh Yeah, we can uh, swap between full screen and uh, the regular screen. Just like that. And we took all the prizes! We won the duel with Sam! Sam Winchester lost. Ha! Ah. Basically, this is how you play the Pokemon Trading Card Game. Since it was nice of me to show you that shenanigans, I knew you already know it, but uh... To practice again, uh, just uh, yeah, some random stuff here. We can uh, talk to them again and uh, play the game again, but we want a starter deck, so we're going there. Now then, let's build your deck. Make you bring their cards, hand it these cards. Hmm, let at me some of your favorites. What kind of deck do you want? Please select the team deck you want. As mentioned, we're gonna go for raw power, we're gonna go for Charmander! Oh, <laughs> I clicked no, because I was too fast and furious. Okay, Charmander and friends, woo! Okay, 30 cards, you should duel with many different people. Why don't you go to one of the training clubs or the card clubs? There are many people to battle. Collect new cards and be the master of the playground. Okay. We're going for the Grass Club, why not? We're uh, going to have an advantage here. Oh, this is a rival, Ronald. Ronaldinho, it's Ronald. Well, getting the Grass Medal wasn't that hard. If I keep this up, I should be able to get the legendary Pokemon cards. What? It's you, Josh. What are you doing? Ha, huh, that's a deck. Ha, huh, pathetic. You don't even have legendary cards. Yes, I do. What? I can't believe it. The legendary Pokemon cards. Ha, <laughs> ha, don't make me laugh. All right, listen up. I'll teach you what it's all about to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. You must defeat eight clubs, masters, and uh, then get eight medals. Basically, uh, gym badges like that. Doom and defeat all four of the grandmasters there. The Doom is basically the Elite Four. There's no way you can do it. I'm better than you, and you are just a uh, shitty, a shitty duelist. Okay, thanks for uh, doing that. The diary is to save. We don't have medals here. Would you like to keep the diary? Yes, we wrote in the diary. Yes, again. Why not? Okay, that's to save the guys. Then we're gonna check out our deck. We have Charmander. We can not modify the deck because we don't have a... We have to see the deck first in order to uh, know what we're playing with. So, uh, let's see. We have Charmander, Charmeleon, one Charmeleon, Growlithe, Arcanine, two Ponytas, no Rapid Edge and a Magmar, okay. We also have some lightning Pokemon, Pikachu, Raichu, and Magneton. Oh, yeah! There's a Zapdos in my deck. Of course! Why not? I'm Retro Zapdos. Getting a Zapdos is nice. We're going to the the Water Gym next after we got the... We have more... We also have some fighting Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon. Too much, actually. Uh, we have some fighting Pokemon. The Choke and stuff. Renegade. Dugrio. Yeah. Trainer cards. The good thing is that there are no supporter cards in the old school games. We have a lot of fire energies. Eight lightning. This is a, re a really weird deck, but it's our starter deck. There's no getting uh, around it. There's one trainer there and a trainer there. We're gonna talk to this lady. Are you looking for Nikki, the grass club master? I don't think she's here at the club. Would you like to take care of the plants? We could do with that if I prefer. We're not gonna take care of plants. I'm gonna take care of you, Kristen. Let's play four prizes. You and me right now. Each player will shuffle up to their opponent's deck, just to make it sure, uh, sure that we're not cheating. In the usual games, we have to shuffle our own deck and then uh, your opponent can uh, put, put a stack from uh, the top of your deck. We have Magnemite, Diglett. Diglett is quite powerful, but it, 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 it really sucks. But we only have fire energies, and let's see, the Magnemite needs a, a lightning energy. So we're gonna go with Diglett, why not? The weakness of Diglett is what? Could be wrong though. We can also bench the Magnemite, why not? And we also have to switch so we can get out of the situation if we have to. So we're gonna put two Magnemites on the bench just because uh, we don't want to lose by uh... I go first! Ah, uh, really? Really? This always happens. A grass energy to Oddish, what can Oddish do? Stun Spore, no, 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 no. Tails! Really? Our Diglett will not survive long with this shenanigans. Weakness! 
Great! Great! Our Diglett is done for! Should've checked the weakness first. We are not gonna be doing that, we're gonna switch out. We don't want to knock out here. We're gonna go for Magnamine. We're gonna give a fire energy. Or actually fighting energy, we won't be needing the... The, the other uh, types, since fighting is uh, weak to grass. So uh, we're gonna give an energy to the Magnemite, so our Diglett uh, swallowed up that damage, which is great. We cannot attack yet. If we draw a lightning energy, we can explode, and the explosion deals 40 damage. If we have a plus power in combination with that, maybe you can win. I don't think we have plus power, so I should have checked that. Wow, Gloom already? Wow! Poison stuff, really? You're gonna play it like that, huh? I'm gonna explode anyway, so... Between turns, poison damage. Some things never change. We have a lightning energy! This will be your downfall. Actually, I'm gonna check the board and see what attacks in play. The gloom? It can attack. With Fall Odor. I think she has two energies. Yeah, she has two energies, but we're poisoned. So, I think we're gonna explode here. Just to be... If we have... Well, if we're lucky... And it's paralyzed. Nah, we're gonna not go for lucky stuff. We're just gonna explode right away. Bang! 40 damage, which is great. And we die as well. That was interesting. And the back of mine. Oh, we destroy our own piglet. How great is that? She gets two prizes from the bat. Really? And we only have Magnemite left. Wow! Should have thought this true. But yeah, the poison would have uh, knocked us out anyway, so... Really keep going on with the poison? Ah, I really hate that. We need to draw an item, like a supporter or bill. <laughs> there are no supporters, but our deck is not stable at the moment. Yes! We chop that. Just like that, we have Professor Rogue discarding everything in our hand. Just because we can. Maybe some bills in there as well. Hands. We have full heal, great. We also have Growlithe. Growlithe will be coming. Will come in handy. We are gonna give. We're actually gonna put Growlithe on the field. We're gonna give him a fire energy. And then uh, we're gonna do use the full heal here, just because uh, we want to stall a bit. He might be able to use its second attack, but yeah, otherwise we would have died anyway, so. Come on, come on, come on. Another Adish, really? Grass energy to be Adish, why not? Yeah, I should have kept the full heal here. Really. Aha, there was knocked out. I think they're both confused. Wow, we're getting wrecked here. Lucky for us, we still have Growlithe, our faithful, loyal Pokemon. Zapdos joins the party. We're gonna check out our Growlithe. Yes, this is great. We only need another extra energy here. We're gonna give fire energy to Growlithe. Not gonna bench the Zapdos though, because uh, otherwise he might use, uh, I think this Gust to win, the uh, old school uh, Pokemon. There we go! We destroyed Gloom! Wow, that Gloom cost us a lot of trouble, really. Charge will draw one prize. Charizard! Ah, we don't need that one right now. Lucky for us... Oh no, the Oddish has 50 HP. Might cause a lot of trouble, and even the stun score should have kept the full heal. Yes! We're not paralyzed. Not today! Okay, we're gonna keep it calm here. Draw a great item. Bonita. Bonita. Bonita is great. Because Bonita can probably do an attack of, uh, yeah, 30 damage, which is better. Maybe we can retreat our Growlithe later. Here we go, our first attack. It's Flare. Bang. Alright. We're getting there. We're getting our revenge, so... I'm quite happy with that, but it's kind of risky. Use Pokemon Breeder! What? Venusaur? 
but they still attach to the other. No stun spore, no paralysis, no paralysis! Ah! Okay. Keep calm. Keep calm, we might pull that Arcanine. Fighting energy. Check. And play. Growlithe. Retreat cost is. Where do we see the retreat cost? Whoa, I think it's two the retreat cost. Whatever. We're not gonna we cannot retreat. We're not able to retreat! Oh my god. We're gonna give fighting energy to check and play. Polita needs two fire energy, so we won't be doing that. We're gonna give a fighting energy to the Growlithe instead. Maybe we can get Arcanine later, so just for that reason, we're not able to attack! Ah, stupid, stupid paralyzation. I'd rather be poisoned than paralyzed. That's my opinion, that way we can retreat. Venusaur gets an energy, we have to stop that guy! No paralyzation! Yes! No hacks, there. Alright! The only thing we need is our Arcanine, that way we can secure our victory. Computer search! We can get our Arcanine like this. Computer search! Gonna dispose of Charizard and Zapdos. I'm sorry, Zapdos, but we need our faithful. Let me guess, it's price. Oh no, it's not price. We have Arcanine. Yes! And this Arcanine. Whoa. Arcanine, yes. We're gonna evolve it later, or meh, we can evolve it right now. We have Flamethrower, Flamethrower is a great attack. And now let's see if they can handle Flamethrower. We have to discard an energy though. We could also evolve later, but then we have the chance that Venusaur could have been set up and stuff, but yeah. We have an extra prize here. We have a fire energy, so no biggie there. Our, our deck is full of it, full of energies, and our deck is all, we're halfway through it, so. No stun support! No, 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 Really? Really? You're gonna play it like that, huh? Stupid hacks. Quite the long video for the first one. Fire energy. Just to wake up, man. Done. Wake up. Wake up, Kakarot. Destroy all life forms. Don't be paralyzed! Don't be paralyzed! Don't be- Ah! Ah! Maybe we should have gone with the grass deck to annoy our opponents like that. Potion! 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 Magneton, really? Of all the cards, we get Magneton. Not gonna give an energy just yet. Gonna save that one. Grass energy to Venusaur, really? Dunk! We should have kept the full heal, maybe we could have gone in. Really? Triple the paralyzation? This is getting ridiculous! Fighting energy. Eh, gonna give a fighting energy to Arcanine. Maybe we can retreat later on and use it again. Who knows? That's the only thing we can do. Because we're still paralyzed. Gonna set up our Venusaur. Oh, not really. No paralyzation! Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, we're locked. She's cheating! She has Victini on the bench. Oh, yeah, Machop, you're coming late to the party. Hmm, we can set up. We can set him up, our Machop, but we won't do that. Sure, I'm gonna retreat later. This is crazy. If I get paralyzed one more time, really. Yes! Finally! She dealt a lot of damage with that stupid stun spore. Really. What do we got? Fighting energy. What a surprise. 
can destroy it, let's check it and play. She has a Venusaur with two energies, which is still not able to attack. So we are just gonna destroy it, gonna wreck it. Fighting energy. Attack. Take down, we'll do damage to ourselves. So we're not gonna do that. Gonna give a fighting energy. Actually, gonna give a fighting energy to. Ponyta can attack, check, and play. Ponyta, 20 damage. I think we're gonna go for that. Energy to Ponyta, alright! Now we just have to use Flamethrower and draw an extra fire energy from our prizes, just like before. Still have a chance at winning this 100 damage, really great. You can draw a potion, great! Venusaur is in action, no grass energy, don't attach it to grass energy. Do it, do it! Oh no! She's close to victory. Oh no, 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 no. This is gonna be a really close game. Plus power, just in time. But we don't have any fire energies. Quite the pickle. Quite the pickle, guys. The potion won't even help because the Venusaur has enough power to destroy us. If we attack, we cannot attack with flamethrower, so that's terrible. Just have to wait it out, I believe. We can also retreat, but he, he deals 80 damage anyway, so... Just have to hope for that one chance that he doesn't draw an energy and that we draw a fire energy next turn. Okay? Hope, 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 Oh god, we're history. We're screwed! We're screwed! 60 damage. Okay, we lose our first battle. That is not interesting. But we will be back next episode, so you can see how... We can learn from the mistakes, actually. We could have done certain things differently, like retreating at other points. But the stun spore killed us. We cannot agree. Wow. Oh, we won! Woo! Let me excuse you, then. Okay, that's it guys. I'll see you guys in the next part where we will take our revenge because this is actually not a great deck, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely uh, smash the hell out of the like button and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye. Number five we have for all the Pokemon fanatics out there. I used to have play the TCG game on my channel, but it's Pokemon Stadium 2. Pokemon Stadium 2 is actually I can show you. Let's just, just open it up. One of the first car, uh, cards that had the gold cartridge. It's a, a really great collectible uh, item. And Pokemon Stadium 2 actually improved on the very first Pokemon Stadium by including all 251 Pokemon at the time, 100 